Hi everyone, it's Rita from It's Rita to the Rescue. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you a humble little product that I really like on the Cricut shop. It's called Party Foil. And uh, if you ask me, it's a pretty good value. It's kind of a, it's a fun thing. You kind of don't think about it. Maybe you got a, um, a roll of it, I don't know, in a mystery box. I don't know if they've ever had them in the mystery box. But, or maybe you just happen to order one to complete, you know, your order. And you don't know what to do with it. Well, let me tell you what it is and how um, I have used it to make these lovely... 3D bows, really a lot of fun to make, and the party foil is perfect for it. So, okay, what is party foil? It's a um, very flexible material, um, and its its original design was for use for uh, for making party decorations. So, like things that hang from the from the ceiling. What you get in one roll is two different um, kinds of party foil. You get this solid party foil and then you get this uh, holographic sparkle, right? And these come in a variety of colors, obviously red, and this is, I think, teal or aqua or something, but it comes in blue and brown and gold and all, all kinds of colors. So you can, you know, tailor this project to whatever color works for you. So in addition to making those uh, hang from the ceiling kind of decorations, which are fun, um, I have people asking me all the time, what do I do with this party foil stuff? So let me uh, show you how to put together a bow. But before we wait, before I did that, I wanted to just kind of point out that this stuff is really slippery and you get two really giant um giant rolls of this stuff it 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 lays pretty flat so that's not a problem but when you're working with it i would recommend that you have a big space a big flat space that you use to put it on your um mat when i'm making these uh these 3D bows, the way that I have them set up, and I will give you, it's a free file, I'll give you the file that um, you can cut out these bows, but the way that I have them cut out, I usually cut from a 12 by 24, so I take half of this sheet. So you get one, two, three, four, she four huge sheets, 12 by uh, 24 sheets in one roll, so it's really kind of um, a good price for something. Anyway, so um, these are the 3D bows, right? And um, they are so easy to go together. And what holds them together are these. This is called a brad. See, brads, they come in all different colors. Here are some that are um, metallic. They also come in different sizes. For, for these bows at the size that I make them, I'm gonna use the bigger of the two brads. Let me show you. So here is what I call the bigger. It's a little bit, I don't know what the actual, uh, here we go. I don't know what the actual size is, but um, they're also these little baby baby ones. <laughs> Um, here and frankly I have a hard time with these but you'll you can use them for something I'm sure but for these bows nope need the regular size brad all right and when you cut them out again make sure you're using a really good mat because it's really imperative that this stuff stays on the mat when it's cutting and because it it's a big and so it can the potential for this to kind of mess up if you're not watching it and going slowly. It has its own setting, by the way. Uh, Party foil is a setting, and you can find it in your settings. It's a custom setting, so if you are, for instance, um, oh, if you are using an Air Explorer 2, you have to turn your dial to custom, and then you get the pull-down 
pull down menu, right? And you would choose party foil, or if you have a maker, it would automatically make you choose, and in this case, uh, you would choose party foil. So here's what we're gonna do. It cuts out in four pieces. It's these sort of windmill kind of pieces, each one progressively smaller um, than the last. And then there's this one piece here that is, it's got two holes and it's sort of, that's the middle of the bow. So you don't see the brad. Let me see if I can show you my brad. Yeah, there you go. There's the brad. Uh, all right, so um, that's what that middle piece does. The middle piece covers up the brad. So you're gonna cut out these, um, these three pieces and I would just put them in order. You do need to have your both of your hands available for this. So you're gonna take your brad and you're gonna put it at the bottom of the first windmill piece. Then you're going to take each of the arms, I call them arms, or each segment, and you're going to twist them a little bit and you're gonna match that hole up to the inside of your soon-to-be bow um, and rest it in that spindle part of the brad. I hope that I'm making, I'm making sense, okay? So you're gonna do that. For the largest piece, you do that and you have to be very careful. You have to always be holding this, okay? Then you take the next piece and you lay that also on the inside here and then you're going to uh, take this, take just like we did with the other one, it's a little harder and so you have to be super patient, um, but you're basically gonna work your way through all three layers of this bow. And I'll make sure I'm getting this on right. Okay, one, two, three, Four. You could stop with two sections if you wanted to, um, or you can go for the 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 um, for the full Monty there. <laughs> um, but let me, let me put this on at the bottom. So when you're done, let's say we did all three pieces. I just did two. But when you're done, um, you're going to take this piece and you're going to put it on that spindle inside, and then you're going to take the other end, twist it around, and put it on the spindle. Now you have to do this by feel and not by look, because you're basically opening up that, the you know, the brad, the two legs that are on the brad to hold um, everything in place. Once you have that in place, let's see if I can try to show you. I don't know if I can really show you that. Well, here we go. There it is, see? Okay. And there's the bottom of that. And this is a wonderful bow. You can make these smaller, you can make them larger. Just know that if you're gonna make them larger, um, you're gonna use up all that party foil. So if you're trying to get the most out of them, you probably wanna keep it at this this size, the size that I'm, I'm going to be giving you, because it just makes um, it, it it makes more bows. So I guess I'm trying to figure out how many. I'm thinking I can get one bow on every 12 by 24. So in a whole roll of bows, um, a whole roll of party foil will net me um, four big bows it takes a lot of a lot of space so if you need to make a lot of bows um well just be thankful that, <laughs> that the party foil isn't that expensive i guess anyway so this is party foil by cricket it is available in the shop i think i counted at least 10 different colors available so if you're having a particular party um, then you can, you know, sort of get color coordinated with your party through, through these things that will make, uh, make our 
party decorations that hang from the from the ceiling. Hey, another thing that I have done with this party foil is I've made confetti. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the file that I have this confetti on and I'm gonna put that in uh, in the description of this video along with the, the uh, 3D bow, um, the 3D design space file for the 3D bow as well, okay? And these are all of the things that um, that I'm gonna show you or that I'm gonna give you the design space file for. All of them are part of Cricut Access. And Cricut Access is um, the subscription image service. It's a lot more than that, but in this particular case, it's the subscription image service that's available through Cricut. Remember that Cricut design space is free. <laughs> I'm really failing at this this morning. Um, Cricut Design Space is free, but it does um, it does have a lot of images that are available for you to use, but they're part of what's called Cricut Access. You can buy those images. I don't know if you know this, but you know you can buy them individually. But I just think. Cricut Access is a really good deal, especially if you're really trying to get into working with your, your Cricut. So um, I would kind of recommend, you can try it for a month and see what you, um, if you like it. So um, to me, I, I think it's really worth it. So anyway, um, <laughs> I'm really not doing these bows very well today, but there you have it, um, 3D bows from Cricut Party Foil right? Um, and all you need for this is, you know, your Cricut machine to cut it out and you need a brad and that's it. And you can have these bows. They last forever. Do not throw them away um, because you can reuse them. They last forever. Uh, I have a whole box of, you know, I don't want to call them used, but they're like sort of communal decorations that we sort of pull from when we were wrapping up a present. So these obviously appear in them. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much for uh, coming by today. My name is Rita and this is my channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue. Um, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on YouTube and on Instagram uh, or all of those places. I'm also a Facebook admin and founder of several Facebook groups that are uh, that, that are cricket related. So um, you're welcome to uh, follow me there as well. Thanks so much for coming today. I hope you try this. These are this is a really fun product to work with. Thank you.